Now I would like to invite uh, Dr. Manoj Chandra Mathur, who needs no introduction, a renowned ophthalmologist of India and Telangana, and he will be speaking on how to find source of funding, collaboration with pharmaceutical or surgical companies. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Arvind, for giving me this opportunity to be speaking in this research-oriented uh, symposium. How to find source of funding, collaboration with pharmaceuticals or surgical company? My aim of talk today is not to pinpoint a particular company or a particular source for you all to approach. That is not the way to go. But what is the methodology? How this has come into significance and how to look out for funding is the scope of my exposition. The background trips, that was a watershed moment in 1995. India signed the World Trade Organization's the, the WTO Trade Related Intellectual Property Rights that is abbreviated as TRIPS Agreement in 1995. This agreement aimed at harmonizing intellectual property rights and patient protection globally. This provided the Indian companies the same patent protection for their innovations as companies elsewhere, encouraging them to shift their focus from production of generic drugs to innovation of new chemical entities. Till that time, most of the companies were concentrating on generic, generating or producing the generic components of the already researched drugs. So when India signed this agreement, there was a uh, controversy Many people said that India will lose access to cheap drugs, but the bigger companies, they saw an opportunity in this. Legislative changes to implement TRIPS in India made possible not only increase the access by innovator companies to the Indian market, but also introduction of globally and in internationally funded clinical trials. This gave a major fillip to the CROs, that is the contract clinical research organizations, enabling them to go, go global, utilize the major markets in India. Data on clinical trials published in the Indian Journal of Medical Ethics show an increase from 64 new trials in 2006 to 245 in 2010 and up to 787 in 2012, suggesting a 1100% increase in just six years after India signed this TRIPS agreement. But even then, this was very minuscule. It amounted to just about 1% of the research that was being done in the US. The CROs moved from self-sufficiency to innovative, taking innovations, taking advantage of the shift to collaborative models with outsourcing and offshoring of clinical trials, and certainly not a professional suicide of researchers as the theme of this instruction course. So, what is the basic requirement that is a proposal to source funding as uh, the previous speaker uh, explained about how to write your research protocol similarly here how to apply for a source of funding it has to have a covering letter written specifically to appropriate contact person at the foundation. Number two, the abstract, also known as the executive summary, that describes concisely the information that will follow in about 250 words or fewer. Introduction helps to establish your credibility as a great applicant, grant applicant. It can be a one sentence or up to two paragraphs. Statement of need and the objectives of your research need to be specified. The methods, what you will do to accomplish your objectives within the within the slated time that is in about a page, then evaluation measures your research with effectiveness. This should be correspond to your objectives. One page. Future funding prospects need to be specified, and last but not the least, the budget of your protocol. Then the next step, once you have prepared your application for your source of funding, first it is important to understand what is the type of your research. Identify your research protocol. First, it is difficult to obtain funding from some sources for research with limited commercial value. Naturally, if your research is not around commercial interest, you will find it a little more difficult to get its funding. 
This classifies as a basic research. We need to explore funding in such cases when you, your research protocol it comes under this basic research from government, primarily carried out through universities or specialized government agencies or corporations through their research and development departments, providing monetary grants for scientific research areas, science and technology, and social sciences. If it's an NGO or a foundation funding, your research needs to complement the aims and objects of that organization naturally. Some small amounts of scientific research are carried out or funded by charitable or foundations, especially in relation to developing code cures for diseases such as cancer, malaria, and AIDS. If your research protocol is commercially viable, then commercially funded clinical research options are possible with a caveat that such studies are more likely to yield positive results, research that you carry out in association with a commercial company are expected to give you positive results than when funding comes from other sources. So, what are the possibilities if you are looking out for funding from government corporations or foundation grants? There are different funding agencies like the AICTEE, CSIR, IOSH departments, the Department of Biotechnology, Department of Science and Technology, Technology Information Forecasting Assessment Council, Indian Council of Medical Research, and so on and so forth. If you do a Google search, I just tried what I would go. So, my search revealed 46 lakh results. When I put the, the thing, research grants in ophthalmology. So this is the kind of possibilities, innumerable possibilities, various organizations that provide uh, uh, funding for your research. You can look out where your uh, this research protocol fits in and approach that particular organization to get for your funding. So now, the industry-funded clinical trials, whether there is a benefit or a bias. The benefits, clinical trials are primarily primary means to evaluate the efficacy and safety of new drugs and technologies. When published in peer-reviewed journals, the results of these studies not only provide a scientific basis for the treatment designs, but also enable the government and the insurance to plan sound reimbursement policies. Most clinical trials are, however, funded by pharmaceutical companies who have enormous financial stakes in the products being evaluated. There have been some instances, one in US and one in Canada, where the researcher was sued by the company for not getting the desired result. They can go up to that extent. So that is the thing that you have to keep in mind, but how honestly you proceed with your result and um, how dedicated you are to your research protocol. Further, the scientists who design the research protocol and conduct clinical trials often receive monetary compensation in the form of either salaries or consulting fees. How do medical journals ensure that the data in trial reports are accurate and unbiased? They have to find ways and means to ensure that the data provided is conforms to the medical ethics and standards. So industry-funded clinical trials, also there are certain companies who can fund you and who can help you with your clinical trials. So in synopsis, the TRIPS agreement stands as a watershed moment for the clinical research in India when most trials moved away from generic genetic reverse engineering towards potential innovation models and got patents. And many top Indian pharmaceutical companies gained by this agreement and we do have many patents and research uh, patents to our uh, credit of the Indian companies. Prepare your research protocol in the desired format before looking out for source of funding. The aim of this exposition, as I enumerated earlier, is just to prime the delegates as to where to look out for funding based on the design of your research, and then honesty and conformity with the standard protocol is the key, especially for industry-related trials. Don't get swayed away for, by the companies. You should not come in under pressure of the, your sponsor to get the desired results in your own in interest and in your own integrity. Thank you very much for your patient hearing. Thank you, sir.